Well, Fort Recovery started the year with 16 straight wins until Minster came to town on May 1st. Wildcats picked up the win, and tonight in cold water, it's the rematch in the district finals. Earlier this week, as you saw on WOSN, Wildcats Josh Nixon threw his second straight no-hitter in beating Spencerville 1-0. Indians started ace Jackson Hobbs against Marion Local, but with the lead, they brought in Cole Wendell in the fifth to save some innings for Hobbs tonight. So Hobbs got the start. Minster has got something going on early, though. Bases loaded in the bottom of the first. Matthew Trushaw single in the left field. John Niemeyer comes in to score the game's first run. Later in the inning, Cats still threatening. Brett Holscher hits a tapper in front of home plate. Hobbs bare hands, throws home, but it's high. Josh Nixon scores. It's 2 to nothing, Minster. Same score in the bottom of the second. Ben Stubbs hits a flare to first. Cole Wendell is there for the out. Then Nixon hits one to the right side as well. Derek Bax cuts it off and ends the inning. Top of the third. Indians get on the board. Wendell, a base hit up the middle. Mitch Stammen rounds third and scores, cutting the deficit in half. Wendell also moves up to second on the play. And that's big because Jackson Hobbs is at the plate now with a runner in scoring position. Comes through, pulls it through the hole on the left side. Wendell scores to tie the game up at two. Still in the same inning. Runner on third. Pitch goes to the backstop. Will Homan come on down. He slides in. The Fort has the lead and they wouldn't give it up. Indians score seven unanswered runs to beat Minster seven to two and capture the district title.